is the second weekend that most state parks are back open in Rhode Island. Today's beautiful weather drawing many of you outside to enjoy the sunshine. Eyewitness News reporter Brittany Schaefer visited some parks and spoke with people about how they're having fun while also staying safe. Many Rhode Island state parks have limited parking spots to reduce foot traffic and are closing early. But regardless of the restrictions, people I spoke to say today felt normal. If you could use one word to describe how you're feeling today, what would it be? Free. Just being out and not in four walls and just, just free. Summer lake temperature Saturday brought hundreds of Rhode Islanders like Lynn Farkas to Colt State Park. The North Providence resident tells me the coronavirus pandemic makes nice days even more valuable. I had to get out. <laughs> it's such a gorgeous day. I couldn't be in the house anymore. Very important for your own self care and mental health and just it's not good for you to be all cooped up all the time. And while dozens were riding bicycles, going for a walk and having small picnics, two college students from Barrington were out fly fishing. Been quarantining since uh, mid-March, so to be outside is great. We've been inside for two months, so just getting out is really nice. Phase one of reopening Rhode Island, allowing more than a dozen state parks to open, but public beaches are closed until phase two, likely in June. Donald and Kathy Blasi are retired and say COVID-19 has been keeping them indoors, but Saturday they felt safe in Bristol. We've been just staying home, kind of uh, hunkering down. We had biked in here before it opened to cars, and we felt like it was our very own spot. So <laughs> I don't want to save this beautiful park to myself. As many as can come and enjoy it, enjoy it. And according to the state's Department of Environmental Management's website, Goddard Memorial State Park and Rocky Point Park in Warwick are both still closed. They say they hope to open all state parks by the end of May. In East Providence, Brittany Shaver, Eyewitness News.